I grew up in Alabama. Football is everything. The state is split in half, either you're Auburn or Alabama. When I was young, I really thought that I was going to be an Auburn Tiger. My brother went to Auburn. My older sister, Halima, she went to Alabama. I'm in the process of pursuing my MBA at Alabama, so we're split. I have six sisters, two brothers. I'm the youngest of nine, but I was definitely spoiled by my sisters. I was like their little baby boy. The house that we grew up in in Tisville was very small. It was a two-bedroom house. We had uh, 13 people living in that home. Bath time was a struggle. Obviously, as you get older, you don't want to take a bath with all your siblings. It gets awkward after a while, but I remember having to take a bath with my brother Kareem for a while just to save time. I moved to Homewood when I was about eight. I'm so glad my parents put me in that kind of situation. Our chief motivation was to go to another area to experience better education. Tittisville and Homewood was, you know, night and day. It was a, a better community. But in Tittisville, we were so close to each other in proximity, we became each other's, you know, best friends. Me and all of my siblings stay in touch. There's not a day that goes by that I don't talk to one of my siblings. I knew he was going to eat. I knew he was going to eat. All right, hello? I'm here. Yeah. I said, I told him about how you and Muhammad used to uh, uh, race over there at, uh, at Homewood, and uh, Muhammad used to burn you out. Yeah, she did not stutter. You know, you know what he did. In high school, Lemire was obviously a little bit smaller than the running backs that got the most recognition in our area. And then his senior year, Amir weighed 175 and was a much stronger and more powerful runner. I went through the whole season waiting on the Auburn offer. And they finally came to me mid-season. It was like, hey, we really want to extend an offer to you. But the catch was, we want you to play safety. My heart kind of sunk. I turned down the offer for my dream school because I felt like I'm going to go somewhere where they have faith in me to play running back, where they believe that I'm good enough to compete for their program. And that was Nebraska. because of the time period my mom and dad grew up in, in the South, where African Americans weren't really allowed to get the same education that a white person was. To see their kids become so interested and so driven through education, I know it does their heart a lot of justice. I would like to touch on something I feel like gets overlooked far too often. And that's something I like to call the essence of the student athlete. To me, the true essence of a student athlete is someone who has the desire to educate themselves athletically, academically, and personally. That touches on the essence of who we are as Abdullahs. We're intelligent, we give back to our community. There's not a one dimension to the athlete. Obtaining a college of education is it's critically important to every student and should be specifically important to all the college football players in this room. He had to contemplate what should he do for his senior year. Right after the bowl game we played against Georgia, I whispered to him, I said, Amir, come on, straight up with me, man. What you gonna do next year? He said, Coach Brown, and Abdullah never goes anywhere without a diploma. All eight of my siblings have gotten their diploma, and I didn't want to be the last one who didn't. Nothing is guaranteed, but if we continuously strive to educate ourselves athletically, academically, and personally, then maybe, just maybe, one day we can reach our full potential. Get them skirts.
I love this player, man. I love the outside stretch, man. We're not getting great, great movement up front here, and you're searching, you're looking for something. I was initially thinking backside, but I saw the run fit coming in from the left. The guy wasn't really honoring the, the zone outside. That's yards when there is no yards. That's a run that a great back has to make. The more prepared you are, the more confident you are. The more confident you are, the better you're going to play. Mir has kept this fresh zeal as a senior that he had as a freshman to want to be the very best that he can. Third and six for Nebraska. This is a must have right here. The McNeese State play, that just says who he is. His heart is bigger than his body. It's caught by Amir. He has a first down, bouncing on tacklers. I believe I broke like two guys who were just out of control. They dove at me. And that's when I realized, I was like, dude, I can score. What an amazing catch and run by the All-American running back. Everybody needs a Heisman moment if you're going to win one. It's all about how bad you want it, not how big you are. Making sure you're training just as hard as you do in the summer as you are, are during the season, that help you ultimately be able to carry that load. Nothing that he does anymore really surprises me. If they give the Heisman Trophy to somebody for what they do, not only as a football player, but as a man, as a student athlete, then Amir Abdullah is that guy. I always thought I was gonna be in this position. Why can't I go out there and make the big play? Why can't I have my name in the Heisman race? Why can't I finish my degree in three and a half years? Why not me? Nebraska knows that they're going to get a great effort from Northwestern. We've seen it the last three years. They know it's going to be a battle tonight. I, I think our guys are ready, though. Amir can't get anywhere. He gets rocked. He'll lose a yard. Man, Northwestern is coming up hard in their run defense. That just didn't look like the Amir Abdullah that we saw the first five or six games. Jackson in the backfield with Simeon from the NU five-yard line. Snap back. They hand it off to Jackson. Breaks a tackle on the edge from Josh Mitchell. Goes in for six points, and the Cats back in front. Somehow, Nebraska's down 14 to 7. Nebraska kind of needs a momentum play. Something to kind of light a fire, get a spark. Snap back. Give it off to Abdullah. Zone read, little reverse to DeMorne Personnel throws it back to Tommy Armstrong. Makes the catch, touchdown Nebraska! How big is this psychologically that Nebraska is able to hit like this right before halftime and get this game tied? It is huge. Zone read, they give it off to Amir. He's got room, he's at a 40. Amir, and he's got a first down, still on his feet, fighting his way to the 31-yard line, a 13-yard game. First time Amir's really been able to get going in the open fields here tonight. Huskers with a chance here to take their first lead of the game. Touchdown, Nebraska! And that's how this offense works. When Amir Abdullah gets things going, the offensive line feels good. There's a little bit of momentum. Simeon not mobile. Nebraska is getting home on these blitzes right now. I don't expect Nebraska to let up. Sacked! Ball pops out. Gangwish nailed him. The Huskers can really punch a hole open in this game with an underscore. Stretch play right. Abdullah's got a hole. 50, 45, Amir 40, 35. Cutting back, 30, 25, 20. Amir needs a block. 15, 10, 5. He's hit and down at the two-yard line. He's over 100 yards in the game after that 49-yard jump. Snap, hand it off to Amir, pushing his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska! Big drive by Nebraska's offense. Huskers improved to 6-1 on the year. 
And with the sixth win, the Huskers have qualified for their 51st bowl appearance in school history.